Hello, this is the donor bike for my e-bike project. It's a 2008 Cannondale F4, so the bike's nine years old at the time of making this video. In the last nine years, mountain bike technology has progressed a lot, so this bike's been sitting in the shed, which is a real shame. I didn't want to get rid of the bike because it's been fantastic, so I thought it'd be a good candidate for an e-bike. I've never built an e-bike before, and after a lot of research, most of which was just confusing for someone new like me, I wanted something with a little speed, so this is the kit I went for. It's a 500 watt, 36 volt front wheel motor and controller with a brand name of Wallamart from eBay. In the box, you get the wheel itself, a set of instructions, and you get a tire and an tube. I won't be using the tire because it's just very cheap and not great. Also, you get another box with all of the ancillary bits and pieces. Uh, we've got the 36 volt controller uh, thumb throttle and these are the brake levers which also cut out the motor when you pull them I don't think I'll be using them because they don't look too great I encountered a couple of problems when mounting the wheel which were that my hydraulic disc calipers rub on the motor and the wheel axle was too big for the dropout. To solve the brake problem I'm going to use mechanical disc brakes which have a much thinner inner section so shouldn't rub on the motor housing. If I were using a smaller 250 watt or 300 watt motor I might not have had the same problem. The calipers I'm using are Avid BB5. Whilst not as powerful as hydraulic calipers, should be good enough for this project. To make the axle fit in the dropout, I'll have to file a very small amount from the inside of the dropout. It's not exactly desirable, but it's the only way to make it fit. Here we are with the new brake caliper fitted and the dropout filed to accommodate the axle. The wheel's spinning fine with about 3mm to spare, which should be okay. These are pretty chunky dropouts, but because I've filed some of the material from them, and I've read some horror stories about e-bike front wheel motors and alloy forks. I'm going to fit torque arms on both sides of the wheel. These are the torque arms which I bought from eBay. These motors are powerful and the forks aren't designed for this purpose. So the torque arms should dissipate some of the forces and also stop the axle spinning in the dropouts and ruining the forks. Most mountain bike forks have a recess around the edge, which is where the quick release skewer is seated. But unfortunately the e-bike motor bolts are too big to fit in the recess so to make sure as much of the surface area of the bolt and dropout are in contact you need to fit sea washers i couldn't find any for sale in the uk so i bought them from this seller on ebay and they took about a week to arrive from china this is the wheel fitted with the sea washers and i'm ready to fit the torque arms and the rest of the kit you might read ads, see videos where you can fit one of these kits in an hour or so and if you're lucky to have a frame where everything fits straight away that might be the case but if not be prepared to put a little work in and figure out workarounds when you encounter problems. Here is the finished bike, still got a few small changes to make but this is pretty much the finished build. The controller is mounted to one of the bottle cage bosses on the seat post and cable tied at the top. The only connections I've used are the battery, throttle and motor wires, so it's a very simple build from that point of view. I've fitted an XT90 connector to the power lead on the controller because I intend to experiment using some LiPo batteries at some point. The battery cage is slightly too big for the bottle cage bosses on the down tube, so I've bolted the bottom one and zip tied it at the top. It's very secure, so that's fine. These are the torque arms fitted and the mechanical brake is cabled up and working fine now. Um, this is the other torque arm on the other side. I fitted matching brakes to the rear because the original hydraulic brakes had gone way past their best and needed replacing and I wanted matching brakes at front and back. I've gone for flat resin nuke proof pedals because they're very grippy, light and strong and they look good. I fitted a Katai Velo wireless bike computer which I've used on other bikes over the years and it's one of my favourites because it's very simple and very reliable. I've fitted a foam mount while I'm testing a few things on the bike but I don't think I'll be keeping it on there. I didn't use the supplied brake levers in the end, instead I went for the Avid Speed Dial 7 levers which work really well with the BB5s. They look good and most importantly they work really well. Not having the motor cut out on the brake levers doesn't seem to cause any problems either. The only thing left to do is go for a ride.